We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Houston Astros. Standing in, Tommy Edmond. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Here comes the first pitch. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Seven o'clock. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Not exactly. So the stepping in, Victor Reyes. Victor. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time, 68 degrees. Urquidy is sort of a curious case as a starter. Usually doesn't walk many guys, but at times he ends up giving up his share of hits. The translation on that is that he throws a lot of strikes, but oftentimes they are hittable strikes. One of the keys, Matt, you'll have to watch from this guy. At, at times he kind of tiptoes, he tap dances the around the strike zone. He has good stuff, but when he falls behind in the count, he tends to nibble a little bit. And then when he brings the ball into the strike zone, and when he does, he becomes much more predictable. And what happens with that? The hits per nine innings tend to go up. Pitch popped up. Guriel is there. And that ends the inning. Here's George Springer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, George Springer. Here's the pitch. That's inside. Aye. Nope, inside, ball two. Now the 2 1. Is a slider taken for a ball. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game. So we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. And a full count to George Springer. It's 3 and 2. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Line towards center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. That is third. The designated hitter, your dog, Alvarez. At the plate, Jordan Alvarez as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Now a 
check swing but he holds up in time ball one. The one one. No offer on that one two balls and a strike. Altuve the runner at second with one away. Three and one. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. Yeah. And that's the second out. So a man at third here with two gone. Cool. And that'll bring up the LSU Bregman. product, Alex Bregman. Bregman. Set and the pitch. The 0 1 offering. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, 2 and 1. Ball three. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Fouled away. And before the big 3 2 pitch, time is called at home plate. Two outs here with a runner at third. Fouls this one off. Payoff pitch on its way. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Hit on the ground to short. DeYoung gathers it in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Paul DeYoung. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Second inning begins with a slider that misses here. It's 1-0. at that one either it's 2 and 0 pitch on the way I ah, tied him up there as this is softly hit down the line and he's going to kick off the second with extra bases and he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double standing in now Brad Miller and on the first pitch he grounds foul From the stretch. Fouled off. No one out with a runner at second. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And that brings up Matt Carpenter. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Played an in, hits a ball and a strike. One out and a runner on second base. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. From the stretch. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. No score here, but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Colton Wong waits on deck. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. 
So a man at third here with two gone, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. He pulls this one into right, and it's the Cardinals that'll strike first here, and that base hit makes it a one-nothing ball game. Got it here. The right field, so that'll bring in Harrison Bader as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away mm, chased out of the zone there and he's down two strikes made him look silly with that one and an off speed pitch swung on and missed and with that the side is retired Last half of the second set to go, and that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder Michael Brantley. First pitch on its way. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. He's right there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Digging in, Carlos Correa. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Correa. And now pitch on the way. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a 1-0 lead. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bader is there. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the former gold lover Josh Reddick. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Reyes is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Riding into the box, Yadier Molina. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Here comes the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Swing and he pops him up. Correa into shallow center. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Tommy Edmond. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And there's out number two. Coming to the plate now, Victor Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. 
frozen on the fastball never had a chance and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now and here comes the first baseman Yuli Gurriel. The first baseman. Here's the pitch. This one's down to third. Taken in by Carpenter. Throw on to first in time one away. At the plate, Garrett Stubbs. The catcher. Garrett. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line to the right side. Bader is right there as he takes it for the second out. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. George Springer the next to hit. He went down swinging to start the home first. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Two balls and a strike. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. This is good patience here to work at the three and one, especially after two quick outs to start the inning. Even if you don't end up getting a hit or drawing a walk, at least you're making the guy work a little bit and giving your pick. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Stepping up now, Paul Goldschmidt, as we begin the top of the fourth. The first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt swings and hits this one very well out to deep left field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. The bat, number 11. So that brings in the power-hitting middle infielder, Paul DeYoung. Oh, and won the count. From the belt, the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. You could definitely tell this hitter's been guessing at the plate and guessing wrong. But here's where you can't expand the zone. You have to take a deep breath and try and fight yourself back to an even count. And boy, he didn't quite know what to do on that one, but he's lucky to barely get back at first. Ready now, Brad Miller comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball 1, 1 and 0. A ball and a strike. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Runners on first with one down. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Oh, and they pulled the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses. And he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight from the stretch. Strike one to start the at-bat. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it behind 0 and 2 now one run on three hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds another one sent foul and he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning ready to go in the bottom of the fourth and that'll bring in Jose Altuve the second baseman. He's ready. Okay. Here's the first offering. Oh, Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in for a base hit. His second in as many trips to the plate. The batter, number 34. Designated hitter, 
Jordan. So plate now, Jordan Alvarez. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Hit hard on the ground to first. Taken in by Goldschmidt. The second for one. Relay to Goldie, and that gets him as well a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next, the dangerous power threat, Alex Bregman. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Hit on the ground out to short. DeYoung fields it cleanly. And the off-balance throw will be too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. The left fielder, Michael Brantley. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance, it's ball one. Two and out of Brantley. That's a good job right there. Very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Three and out to him now. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. He's That's going. a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's keyholed in a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And the tying run is in to score all the way from first. Now battle. Carlos Correa. Here's Carlos Correa now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. And before the 0-1 pitch, he'll step out of the box and get his bearings a bit. The 0-1. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. Ready on 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Colton Wong will stand in. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Ah gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. That's been a great pitch for him all night. Able to push and pull the throttle a little bit. Throwing a good fastball located and mixing in that nasty changeup with good arm action. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Colton Wong goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. In there and he's in control 0-2 now. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Harrison Bader becomes the second out here in inning number five. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. That gets down, and the inning continues. So with that, the top of the fifth is still alive. 
the batter number nine. Second base. Stepping in now, Tommy Edmond. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Hit to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So digging in now, Josh Reddick, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Reddick is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. Long run for the center fielder. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. The first baseman, number 10, Yulietti. Very well. So here's Yuli Gurriel as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0 and 1. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. The 3-1. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners at the corners now with still nobody out. Now batting. Striding in for Houston, yeah, right. Garrett Stubbs. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Little tapper down the first baseline. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. And he struck him out. So the lineup flips over and digging in, George Springer. And they're runners at the corners now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Lays off 1-0. Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think the approach to this guy is try to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down 1-1. One and one. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. The one-two. Hopped up. Molina shading to his right, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now Stepping down. in and ready for That's another shot. Play. Jose Altuve, okay. and we'll see what he can do oh, here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. 
be set. Here it comes. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. And he'll just waste one there, one and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that... Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Victor Reyes. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Bounce to first. Guriel picks it up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Digging in and looking for more, Paul Goldschmidt. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals' first baseman. Bases are empty, one man out. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Paul Goldschmidt goes down for out number two in the top half. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't, one and one. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So now to the plate, Brad Miller, line down the left field line, but this is going to get foul. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. In the dirt here. Line to the right side, and that's in there. Base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now back, the third baseman, Matt Carpenter. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And 2 and 0 as this one's taken low. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead. Runners at the corners, two men out. On the ground to the right side. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Brad Peacock trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Here's Colton Wong now. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Two down, runners at first and second. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, 1-1. One and one. Hops this one up. Correa ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Late now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. Jordan Alvarez. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. 
And they could go either way now, I suppose. Now, time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. The 2-2. Two -two. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And there's one down now. One away for the Astros here in the sixth. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. Here's Michael Brantley, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end. New inning set to get underway, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Harrison Bader. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Swings through it for strike number two. As a hitter, you see a pitcher work in east west. This is where you got to tell yourself to stay tall. You can't cover both sides of the plate. You got to pick one and trust it. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The catcher. Pitch on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Yadier Molina goes down for out number two in the top half. Fouled off. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high... So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Correa in front, three balls and a strike. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. So here's Josh Reddick. He's working on a one for two game so far. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch fastball too high to start him out here one and oh two and oh now two balls no foul. reddick waiting and now the pitch nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike no shame in tipping your hat the 2-1 home. 
This is pulled into right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The first number 10, Yulietti. Guriel. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. Now the bunt attempt hits him here. But they're going to say he offered at it. And that's the first strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. Ready with the 0-2. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now batting. So striding in, Garrett Stubbs, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First offering on its way. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And it's fouled away. And now before the one-two, time is called at home plate. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone, and that brings in George Springer. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Hung the slider there, but laid off for ball one. Ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bader will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and ready to begin the eighth and set to go as the switch hitting outfielder Victor Reyes. Victor. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Springer. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He's working on a one for three thus far. Owen won the count. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Here it comes. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Goldschmidt is retired, two down now. The next to bat for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. He singled his last time up. Pulled a strike on the outer half. 0-1-1. Oh, DeYoung in an 0-2 hole That's here. Oh, and two two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be sure. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jose Altuve. First delivery to him on the way. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. That evens it up one and one. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball, that pitch is up. Oh, 
down. It's not often you see a guy like that flail so badly up there, but that was a great pitch for round number, number one. 44. Ready Nothing once again, here. Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. He could really use a knock Alvarez. here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. One out, nobody on. Hang on. And a step off. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And this is foul tip, so that runs the count full now at three and two. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. So a big moment here in standing in, Alex Bregman, and he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. First pitch of the at-bat. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. One one. And 1-1 one and one as this one's in on the hands. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Going back is the left fielder. Gone! And that two-run home run delivers an eighth-inning lead. Now back, no Michael Bradley. Oledmus Diaz will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number 16, Oledmus Diaz. Ball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Here's a pop up now. Carpenter has a play. Two gone. At the plate, Carlos Correa. It was a walk in his last trip. Correa. Set and the pitch. One out. -oh. Hits are even at seven apiece. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Goldschmidt will make the catch, and that. Striding forward now is the D.H. Brad Miller. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. And now time is called and the reliever is warm out there. Roberto Ozuna takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. 
0-2 the count to Miller. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Here's Matt Carpenter. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Cardinals are down to their final out now. And that'll bring up Colton Wong. First pitch on its way. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch that tied them up in knots. And the ball game is over. Wow. Another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball. And that's just what they're giving us. Three to two the finish in tonight's game. The Strodes came through late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Brad Peacock takes home the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For St. Louis, two runs, seven hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 51 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Minute Maid Park, 41,168. The Astros thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.